Hey everybody, welcome to today's show. Welcome to Disabled Reality. I'm your host, Anthony Larita Duke, and we have an interesting topic for today's show. But before I get into that, I want to apologize to all my fans out there that because uh, I've been gone for about a week or so, and it was because of the fact that my husband was really sick and I had to take care of him. And I and also the fact that I had a call myself. So but Thank goodness, both myself and my husband are both feeling a lot better. So that's why I'm back to hosting my shows. But again, I apologize for being gone for about a week or so. So now getting right into today's topic, uh, which is if you're given a second chance at things in life, don't blow it. Don't screw it up. You know? Um, so let's get right into this. You know, yes, we're all human. We all make mistakes. We do stupid things at times. We say stupid things at times, but we all have to take responsibility in life for everything that we say and do, especially as adults, right? Now, with that being said, if you are given a second chance, at things in life. Don't mess it up. Do not mess it up. Fix what you screwed up and then uh, be working on improving yourself. So it's fix what you screw up and then don't do that same thing anymore. Okay? Learn from it and grow up. Seriously. And keep improving yourself. Now, that's also if you're given that second chance. And, you know, it depends upon the situation and stuff like that. It depends upon the people because not everybody is given a second chance. In life, because again, it depends upon the situation, it depends upon the people, it depends upon things. So, um, but, uh, you know, I'll give you an example of the fact that, um, with the New York State Governor Hotchell, okay, um, she was given a second chance. She was given a second chance. And that's a good thing, you know. But she has to realize that when she told her Republican opponent of why is he so focused on uh, crime, that was a stupid thing for her to say to him. That was dumb. And she has to tackle the broken bail reform law. She has to tackle it. She did not tackle it because she did not want to offend her base, especially with the midterm elections uh, that were upon her. But now she won. Now she won the midterm election. Okay, and this time she was actually voted in, you know, priorly, she stepped, uh, she actually was given a promotion in a, in a way that when the prior governor had to step down, she was the lieutenant governor, and then when, he, when the prior governor stepped down, she was promoted to uh, as regular governor, but she was never... She was not elected uh, governor at that time. This is the first time that New York State has elected her as the very first female governor for the state of New York. Now, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, um, like I said, now she just has to tackle the broken bail reform law. 
and she could use it in a way that it would not it would not offend her base because of the simple fact she could just say the current uh well for decades for decades um the criminal justice system and the bail reform law and the bail reform laws were in favor for the white supremacists and was against people of color and stuff. And it's the truth, and she could use that to her advantage. Seriously, and it would not offend her base. It would actually improve her base. Okay, you got to tackle this. So, yes, what she said to her Republican opponent was stupid. When she told him, why is he so focused on crime? That was dumb. That was dumb. But now you got to fix what you screwed up. You did not really tackle the broken bail reform law since you've been in office, and you have to tackle it now. You have no other choice. And you can do it. She can do it. She's strong. She's smart. She's vigilant. She can get it. The job done. Now she's got to. So that's a perfect example of what I've been saying that if you're, uh, if you're given a second chance, don't mess it up. Okay, so she's given a second chance and she's got to fix what she screwed up when she said that to that to her Republican opponent. Plus, she didn't tackle the broken bail reform law. Uh, but now she's got to. Now she's got to. So anyways, um, I want to wish all my fans out there a happy Thanksgiving. Because next, uh, next week on Thursday, November uh, 24th is Thanksgiving Day. So from all of us here, we wish all of our fans, uh, we wish everybody out there, we, we wish all my fans out there a safe and happy Thanksgiving. And I also want to remind all my fans out there about the business that my husband and I have together called AWLDNY. The link to there is AWLDNY.com. You guys can check out all the products on there. All the products that you see on there, we actually make ourselves. And I also wanted to remind all my fans out there about my other business, my other website that I have called Advocate Information Highway. And the link to there is AIHNY.com. Again, that is AIHNY.com. You guys could check out all the pages on there on the homepage of my website of Advocate Information Highway. You'll see the link to my internet store on Zazzle.com, in which I designed a lot of products and they're up for sale on there. Also on the homepage of my website of Advocate Information Highway, you will see the links to the two books that I wrote. And if you guys follow those links, you guys can check out and purchase both of my books as well. And so with that, again, I wish all my fans out there a safe and happy Thanksgiving. And so with that, take care, everybody. Bye.